Hey friends, can you believe it has been more than three years since we did our first episode about the Azure mobile app? Ilse Terrazas Ortega is here to catch me up and show me what's new today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman and it's Azure Friday. I'm here with Ilse and we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, the Azure mobile app. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for having me here today virtually. I'm really excited to talk to you and everyone else about the Azure mobile app. Well, I'm very excited because I feel like a fan, like when you meet somebody who like, you know, like I, I use your app, like, you know, you, your team yeah. makes my app. I love that. Uh, I love the Azure mobile app. I actually have an iPhone. I bought the new iPhone and, uh, you know, I have all my blog and my podcast and all of my different personal sites uh, in Azure as well as the .NET website. So I have to do a lot of management of my Azure resources and I used to actually, I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but I used to try to log into the Azure portal from Safari on my iPhone. And while it kind of works, it's not really what I want to be doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we try to make the Azure mobile app to be super helpful for those on the go moments or those spaces in between when you have just a little bit of time to go into your Azure environment and make it as easy and mobile friendly. Yeah, that it totally shows too because, uh, and it, and it gets updated so often. There's so many cool things. I remember when I started, it didn't have metrics and charts and graphs and now it does. So I'm really excited to see what's changed since we did our first episode, which has been more than three years ago. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Uh, I'm really excited to show you all the new stuff that we've done. Uh, of course, I'm not going to be able to show you absolutely everything, uh, but I think the few things that we will talk about, you're going to really like. All right, let's do it. What do you got? Awesome. So, well, the uh, mobile app is a very powerful tool that helps you manage your Azure environment. And I'd be willing to say if you're not using the Azure mobile app, you're not truly effectively using Azure. So there's four core tenants that I would say are the most important for the Azure mobile app. Number one, it helps you access all of your Azure resources in your environment from the convenience of your phone. Number two, it helps you quickly diagnose and even fix those issues that may arise in your environment. Number three, it helps you with monitoring and even alerting for your mobile device. And four, if all of this is not enough, it actually even has the full power of the cloud shell experience in your mobile device. So today I'm actually just gonna walk you through our home-like uh, dashboard, and then I will show you how to set up a service health alert to be delivered as push notification. So basically right now, the uh, I'm actually going to project my uh, phone into my screen here, my desktop. This is not the emulator or anything like that. This is the actual app because I want you to get that full experience. So uh, this is the view that you're actually going to see as soon as you log into the Azure mobile app. It's our home view. It is a dashboard-like view that has multiple cards that show you and surface up the most important things in your environment at that time. So here you can see some quick entries to some popular Azure services and then a card that's called latest alert. Now this is one of my favorite things because it can let me know whenever there's something wrong that's going on with my environment. So for example, here you can see that a production web app is stopped for some reason and obviously that shouldn't be the case. So if I go into the details for that alert itself, I can get more explanation and I can even get a link right there for the target resource that it's actually connected to. So here you can say the graph has absolutely nothing, the alert is right there. So I know that the fix for this one is pretty quick and easy. I can start the web app right there from the Azure mobile app. So not only did I get alerted on it, but also I was able to quickly diagnose what was going on and take action. And even if I go back to those alert details, I can go ahead and triage that alert so my team knows what's going on. I'm going to go into the alert change state and I'm going to change it to close. Now, everyone that has access to that alert and my environment knows that they don't need to worry about this alert because it's already been taken care of. Um, so it's super powerful. It also has a, a dual view for this latest alerts card. For this one, it's my personal uh, environment, so I don't have that many alerts. But for example, for my Microsoft environment, I actually have the chart view set up as the default so I can get a better quick glance at how my uh, actual Azure environment is going on. If we continue going, you can also see the recent resources card, which actually has uh, the web app that I just 
accessed in the previous card. So what happens with the recent resources card is that it continues building uh, all of the resources, inscriptions, resource groups, all of those good stuff uh, that you have accessed. So it can give you a quick access to them if you need to see them. Or you can quickly consult the status on the right side of the screen. Uh, now if you click on the see all, you'll see a longer list. And the more you use the app, the more that this is going to continue building out. Uh, some other quick entry uh, cards that we have in the mobile app, the service health alert uh, card and the resource groups uh, card. So these are just quick entries, but the one that I really, really want to highlight here is the service health card. So basically if there's any Azure environment issues, so the infrastructure itself, there's like a maintenance event or anything like that that you would want to know about, uh, you can quickly just take out your phone, look at the service health card and you'll immediately know if there's anything going on with Azure. And then finally, we have the favorites card where you can basically pin uh, any like resources, subscriptions or anything that you want to keep track on at all times. So here you can see that I actually have my subscription pin. Uh, I tend to go over my Azure spending limit quite a bit. So I want to make sure that the status is always green and enable. Uh, you can quickly uh, favorite anything. So for example, if I want to favorite that virtual machine, I can go into it and favorite. And immediately that's going to take effect in my home view. Now, I know that the home view is not going to work for everyone how it is right now. And we didn't think about that. So if you click on the pencil button on the right side of the screen, you'll actually go to this customized home view where you'll be able to maybe turn off this card and maybe I really want favorites to be top and center and that immediately takes place in the Azure mobile app home. So it's super customizable and helps you stay on top of your uh, Azure environment even when you have just a tiny bit of time. And I know what you're probably thinking. So I have my phone. Uh, shouldn't I be taking advantage of push notifications? Um, if you're like me, you probably don't want to get alerted on every single thing that's happened. I want to make sure that I get my sleep. Uh, but there's a couple of uh, alerts that I would actually really always get alerted on. Those are Selvis health alerts, for example. If there's something going on with Azure, I want to know what's going on. So I'm going to show you how to actually set a service health alert to be delivered as a push notification into your phone. So I'm going to stop sharing this part and now I am going to project the Azure portal. So here I already have access to the service health view. Uh, I can go ahead and create the service health alert here. So it's super simple and all alerts in Azure uh, you're able to get as per notifications. Here I'm just going to show you the service health. I care about all of the regions. Uh, I don't care about all the event types. I don't really need to know about maintenance, for example, but I need to know about service issues. I'm going to go ahead and click that there. For now, I'm going to skip actions. I'm going to give uh, this uh, name, service health, and alerts for service health, just anything that really makes sense to you. And that's basically all of the information that I need for the service health alerts. But now I'm going to add an action for it. So I'm going to create an action group. An action group is basically something that helps you deliver uh, those uh, alerts as something. So for example, this one is going to be focused on push notifications as we've been talking about, uh, but you can actually do some other stuff. So if you go to the notifications view in this create, uh, here I care about the second option, email, SMS, message, push notification, voice. So since again, we're doing push notifications, I'm going to name it that way. And here you can actually set up everything, email, SMS, push notifications. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check the box for push notifications. And something important here is that the email that you need to type in here is the same email that you're actually using to log into the Azure mobile app and your Azure experiences. Um, I don't really need to have any more actions or tags or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the review and create. So here I've created that action group that delivers that uh, push notification. So it is now here attached to that uh, service health alert. And I'm going to create the alert rule now. And that's it. Now, any time that there's a service health alert that actually is impacting my subscription and my services, I'm going to get a push notification about it. Wow. I had absolutely no idea about that. That is really interesting because I had initially thought about this app. This is my app uh, with, and I'm in dark mode and I've got all of my resources and I hadn't really thought about 
the relationship between this and the portal. And I never expected to be able to go and make something so custom and then have it feed back into the app. So I'm going to get notifications in the notification center, click on them, and then it'll drop me right back into the app. And then I can go and deal with that. Exactly. And even if you don't want to get them as push notifications, any alert that you already have in your Azure environment is are going to show in that latest alerts card. That's so cool. And I thought I understood. I thought I knew everything about this app while you were showing me how to reorganize. I actually moved my favorites up to the top. I didn't actually know that I could do that as well. So I've gone and I've moved my favorites up and then I put service health right here at the bottom as well. One of the other things, if awesome. I, if I made it just gush about the app a little bit, uh, when I'm spending time in uh, my app service, I really love being able to see the metrics. This has been huge for me. Having metrics, I can see my data out, my requests. I actually had a spike at about 9.30 this morning, so I can now go and, and dig into that. And while I'm on the go, I can go, wow, what's going on on my website? Something happened at 9.30 this morning. I'm going to go spend time on that. I know it's silly for us to be impressed with this pocket supercomputer, but the Azure mobile application continues to impress me because I keep thinking to myself, I'm not in front of my computer and I'm getting all of this information. It's just, it's, it's amazing. I really, really enjoy using it. Well, that's really great to hear. I will work really hard to make sure that we provide something of value to all of our customers. So it's great to hear all of that. But yeah, we're continuing to work on the app and shipping up updates every couple of weeks. So we're excited to see what you think of the things that are coming up next. Fantastic. We're going to put links in the show notes to all of this information, how to set up these alerts, how to use the home screen. And you can go and check out the Azure app at aka.ms slash Azure app. I've been learning all about the great Azure mobile app today on Azure Friday. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Azure Friday. Now I need you to like it, comment on it, tell your friends, retweet it, watch more Azure Friday.